It's Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing and the Fatal Grips. Go to gamerborn.co.uk or fatalgrips.com and use the code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 73 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Feel Thanks, good. rushed off my feet. There's not enough hours in a day at the minute. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> I feel like I've got a million and one things to do and just no hours to do the do them in. I know what you mean. It's a time with bicycle for these days. And what's happening? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. I can't <laughs> believe that it's October and crazy. we're not far from Christmas, really. Oh, God, don't even say it. <laughs> I know, it's madness. It doesn't feel like that long ago when we were doing last year's Games of the Year podcast. I know, right? Yeah. Like, that we're going to be doing it again days. soon. Yeah. Craziness. Crazy, 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 crazy. Stop going so quick time. I know, slow down. Give us a minute. Or give us an extra few hours per day, like, okay. up the hour rate to 30. Yeah. Or, or someone, can, someone can just, like, invent a pill that you can take where you don't sleep and just, like... And that'd be great. That'd be like eight, eight oh, hours right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with yeah. that. That's fine. Now give that'd us an extra eight hours and I'll be happy. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Someone someone invent that, please. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Uh, obviously, <laughs> call it the Games and Graps pill because we invented it. Yeah, we invented it, of course. Trademark. You, yeah, you guys do the science part. <laughs> we did the idea and... Yeah, you know these science guys. You do the, you do the science, quote unquote. And yeah. we'll, 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 we'll just pay us the money and yeah. Yeah, we'll take Cheers. all of the credit. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be the ones on Time Magazine and in Forbes Magazine and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You just make it, but just know that it's our idea. Yeah, absolutely. We, we yeah. made it. Yeah, this is definitely something that's been talked about before, isn't it? Not by us, but, you know, by probably much smarter people. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Finn. Hello. Uh, next week, I think uh, we'll be in the same room at the same time doing this. Oh, it's now. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm moving house again. I mean, again, this is another thing that's taken up my time. Stupid moving house. <laughs> yeah, but, that's nice. Uh, but uh, that's cool. Will, will you be within walking distance? Mm, mm. No, but <laughs> bus we'll, distance. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure. It out. Oh, we'll figure it out. I'll be in the same town at least. Yeah, yeah. That's still so uh, that works. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> work it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. What have you been playing this week, my friend? Um, hmm, well, a lot of Destiny 2, as uh, I'm, I'm sure you're shocked by. I'm really shocked by it, to be yeah. honest, yeah. Uh, yeah it's about still... time you put some hours into it anyway and stop slacking off. Oh, yeah, yeah, really? Hmm. Hmm. It's only level 240. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I, you know what? Since last week, I haven't played it at all. Ah, uh, you suck. I know, I do. <laughs> I do. Just at least send it on to the weeklies and grab your engrams. Look. Know. <laughs> I'm a busy. We've had the time discussion already. Serious, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Um, but uh, still, still playing with Destiny Two. Uh, Iron Banner is now live, which is like a new PvP thing. Mm-hmm. Playing, okay. Last night with Griff, so a lot of them. Uh, didn't get single bit of decent armor. Just got crappy guns. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, what have been playing? Playing uh, on platinum, then charted last legacy. Ah, oh, okay, excellent. So that's awesome. Um, Pretty straight for platinum. Just, uh, play platinum oh, wait. Hard. Of course. We need to... Uh, we, we know what happens when we get a platinum trophy. Oh, of course. We clap. Of course. Let's Yay. do this. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, was it was it extremely difficult on crushing? Uh, nope. Because you can... Once you beat your game once, you pretty much just unlock Cheech and... Cheech? Cheech. Cheech. Like <laughs> Cheech and Chung. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it gives you like a te- Cheech. I can't say it. Uh, <laughs> So Why like, can't you say cheats? Sheets. I don't know. Sh- sheets. 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 It's a yeah. I get the ch and the t's not mixed up. Sheets. <laughs> there we go. I did it. <laughs> che- cheats. Now I can't say. You, you, <laughs> I've broken your brain. The your contagious. non-wordsness has rubbed off on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I was about to say you rubbed off on me, but hey, you know I that would suit it. this podcast down to a t. But no, <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically, get infinite ammo, and you can that, uh, enable like auto aim. So basically, just plow through everything. Um, mm. Immediate headshots. It's super easy. Um, so Could you cheers. do that on Uncharted Four as well? Um, I no, that one I had to do legit. I think. Okay, legit. <laughs> <laughs> legit, <Legit-ish>. yeah. <laughs> um, 
still make more of that. That's been awesome. Um, also platinum uh, Live Graph Go because I saw that in my backlog and it was like, I'm going to play last out of the day and I did. And it's oh, very- yeah, you can. That's an easy platinum. That's good. I need to get that actually because I do have that game. But yeah. I want that platinum because I have the platinum for Hitman Go. Mm, it's very good. Which was awesome. Yeah. Um, but another round of applause for a platinum trophy. Yay. I'm going to get you one day, Griff. Uh, Griff, please. <laughs> no, you're not. We're, we've had this so I'm, many I'm times. Gonna, I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. Look, with, with the shit games that Viz plays, you've got no chance. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I refuse to play shit games, except for maybe one or two. <laughs> Which I might have on my list. <laughs> but Lara Croft Grow isn't a shit game. Lara Croft Grow is actually really good. Hey, Lara Croft uh, Grow is a really, really cool game. It is. Did I say cool. Grow then? Like, Lara Croft Grow. Yeah, it's like a mix between Grow, grow Home and uh, Lara Croft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is exactly that. <laughs> um, I was playing Golf Story. Did my first episode now on live stream. Which is excellent. I look so Dennis good. Rich. I need to get it um, because I need it in my life. It just yeah. looks amazing. It's very, very cool. Nice, charming little uh, game on the Switch. Uh, yeah, so if you if you don't well, know what it is, basically it's um, it's a it's an RPG um, and it's golf at the same time. So if you ever played Mario mm. Golf on the NES, I want to say, uh, sure. Um, it it was. It's like that. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. There's an actual toy to it. You can level up your guy. It's great, like side quests and all sorts. Yeah, so it's got really a good. cute little story, full of cool little characters. It's yeah. uh, it's one of the Switch's finest. Yeah, I would say definitely. Good, good, uh, good little game. Mm. Uh, that's what we been playing. Persona Five, more of that as always. I say that every week. <laughs> yep. Um, one day you'll finish it. And you just uh, the, the podcast will feel empty. <laughs> yeah, one day. I'd be like, what? No Persona Five? You'd be like, no, I've done it. <laughs> Uh, we also did our uh, predictions stream for Alan and Cell on Sunday. That was cool. We did. Um, another fun stream as well. Uh, yes, I'm really exactly. enjoying them. I like the way that we've been doing it. I think, you know, we should go back to the old way of doing it now that things are going to change once again. Oh, yeah, for sure. Be in the same room and everything. That'd yeah, be cool. But, uh, of course, we're going to get to play it on WWE 2K18. Yeah. Yay. Finally. Which which we both have preloaded onto our consoles, ready for a bit of midnight action tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, sweet, tomorrow night. Even which is... is excellent. Last night, if you're listening to this on Friday, yes, and it's it. many nights ago, depending <laughs> on where, oh, whatever. Yeah, time. You'll, it out. you'll find it. <laughs> mm, you will. Um, and yeah, other than that, um, I think that's about it. How about you? We've been playing this week. Uh, I've been I've been flicking between FIFA and Pez, right? Because Fuck I'm, it. I know, but I, I'm <laughs> I'm really trying to enjoy both. Okay, but I, I'm struggling to enjoy either with the, you know, the amount that I would like to. Okay. Um, any, any any preference between the two? Which one you prefer? Pez at the minute. Okay. Only because I think FIFA needs a couple of patches to get up to speed. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, because defending is very very difficult in FIFA, and mm. it's becoming incredibly frustrating, like almost pad breakingly frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I hear a lot about those games. But Pez, um, gameplay wise, it's awesome. Cool. Uh, there's a couple of little bits like character switching or player switching as it were um, needs a little bit of work they introduced a new system this year with Pez where mm. you could um, so with, with with sports games you have like a triangle above your player's head oh yeah um, I'm with the with the <laughs> new Pez uh, there was a uh, like a a transparent triangle above uh, another player's head and he would be the next person that you switch to oh nice but they haven't got it quite right. They are going to patch it, and uh, I'm looking forward to that patch. Uh, it's a great idea, because at least yeah. then you can see who you're going to switch to next, as opposed to sometimes in FIFA, it's completely random. You can press like L1 or whichever button it is <laughs> a million times and still not get the player that you want. Just... So it's a novel idea. They just haven't executed it with a way that they maybe should have. But, you know, like all these new things, it's a, it's an experiment, and... They know that it hasn't worked well, so they're patching it. But um, I'm leaning more towards Pez at the minute, but I really love FIFA in 4K. Cool. And I want that to be better, because FIFA as a as a game, <laughs> with its game modes and the presentation and the 4K and HDR, it's like, it's just, this is this is what I want in my life. Yeah, that's fair. But it's, it's a, a little way off. Uh, being Pez in the gameplay department. Combine the two, you'd have just the greatest game football-wise <laughs> of all time. Yeah. That know. will never happen. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so I've been playing that. I've been playing those, rather. Um, yesterday, I 
gave in and bought Middle Earth Shadow of War ah. on Xbox One. And the game of the rings game. Yes. <laughs> and it is the game that I absolutely needed in my life at the minute. The game of the thrones. Uh, cool. Like it's so good. Like the combat is excellent. It's um, akin to the Batman Arkham games. Oh yeah, as far as combat goes, which is very very cool. So it runs on like a uh, a free flow combat system, hmm. and also it's just got you know you, you unlock different areas and there's different stuff to find collectible wise, and it all helps you to sort of get better gear and all that sort of stuff. So you have an incentive to actually do it instead of plowing through the story, <laughs> and it's just. A lot of fun to play. Cool. And good. Um, I'm really glad I bought it. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna bother, but I saw all the hype, and then I saw a few, um, saw a few videos of people streaming it and stuff, and I was like, I just gave in. <laughs> nice, gave in to pressure. Just bought it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy that I did because it's, it's, it's truly excellent. Cool. Good stuff. Also, I played the Gran Turismo Sport demo that they brought out. Uh, yes. How was it? Um, it looks pretty. Cool. But it's very boring. Yeah, that's why I, that's that's my problem with the last uh, Gran Turismo game I played. It's just driving slowly around the track. That's what it feels like. It just lacks balls. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like where I play, I've got Forza Seven, right? And it's excellent, and it has balls behind it. It has personality. It's <laughs> it's loud. It wants you to drive fast. It wants the cars to be loud, and it, it just you know, and it's it's fun and it's a driving simulator at the same time. Hmm. But with Gran Turismo, there's something about it that's just boring. Like the menus are boring, uh, the cars look great, and the tracks look great. But there's this weird thing with Gran Turismo where you don't feel like you're driving on the track. It feels like your car's almost floating a little bit, which I, right. I don't. <laughs> I can't explain the feeling. You, you'd need to sort of play it yourself to understand what I mean. But I don't know. It it looks pretty. It's Gran Turismo. But it's boring, and in my opinion, not good enough. Yes, um, I've heard similar things. Uh, I haven't tried it myself because it's a big download, and I can be able to find stuff to delete. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Last game, as I said, last good time to get game that Grand Turismo game I played was you know similar to that. It just didn't. It just felt boring because it's like driving the same car on the track slowly. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. It's just uninteresting. Like, And also, yeah. there's a couple of things that I don't like in there. So, with Forza, if you have the braking, if you have the racing line on, oh, yeah. it will tell you when to brake. Like, mm-hmm. will, I say tell you. It will, the it will blue, you. blue indicates brake. Yeah, yeah. Or I'll red, whichever. No, red indicates brake, of course. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. On this, the racing line is orange all the way around. Oh, And okay. when you need to brake, the word brake flashes on the screen. <laughs> Okay, interesting. That sounds fucking ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah. Be- because it is, right? And like, you, it's so easy to miss. And uh, if you miss the braking in Gran Turismo, you just go flying off the track. Uh, oh, it's your fault for not looking at the screen. Well, I am looking at the screen, but the word brake comes up in red. <laughs> just show it on the racing line instead. It'd be much easier. Now, I flicked through the options. Yeah. And I don't know if there's an option to even change the racing line to what you would want it to be. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't get it because in the last Gran Turismo that I played, I'm certain that the racing line indicated when to accelerate and when to brake. Yeah, I feel like it did. Yeah, I seem to remember. Yeah, and in Forza it does, and I like mm. that. It just makes for makes sense. more enjoyable. The screen's less cluttered with crap. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that you've got the word brake flashing on the screen, he's like, shit, bloody hell, panic, and then <laughs> you're, you're, you're in the boards. Yeah, it's like right this this sucks Uh, so I I had about I had five or six races thought yeah this is fine looks pretty but it's literally boring me asleep so uh, I deleted it from my PS4 Uh, I'm just going to stick to Forza instead cool safe bet yeah but that's pretty much it that's all I've really been playing this week cool I want to play because you know time yeah absolutely I want to play but as you said no time is uh, Cuphead. I'm tempted to do, uh, maybe make that my next full playthrough on the channel once I've done the oh, okay. story. Yeah. So I'm gonna play it. I keep seeing people play it. I'm like, that's so good. That's yeah, I saw, uh, I saw Mika <laughs> playing it on our channel and oh, yeah. it looks so bloody hard. It does. But the oh, art know. style is just so enticing. Yeah, it's amazing. It looks like a 1930s Mickey Mouse cartoon. <laughs> it does. It looks so, so good. I need to play it's, it. Yeah, it looks great. I need to play it as well. Um, but again, time. Time, yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially with all oh, these dear. games coming out as well. So like, I've just bought Shadow of War. Tomorrow mm-hmm. night at midnight, 
WWE 2K18 is going to unlock. So time is going to go into that because I'm yep. really looking forward to it. Me too. Um, and then uh, next week, South Park, The Fractured But Hole is out. Tee hee. And, su- <laughs> uh, and I'm super excited for that. Yeah, same here. And then the week uh, after that, Assassin's Creed is out. And it's like, come yep. on. Yep. Mario Odyssey as well. Mario Odyssey, yeah. same week as Assassin's Creed. It's like, yeah, too much. Jesus, are you serious with these games? <laughs> and it's like, I don't have time. Uh, uh, we need to get this channel off the ground real quick so this can just be our job instead. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah, uh, it would be amazing. Just Guys, just sponsor us. Give us loads of money and we'll do this all the time. Yes, money, please. Thanks. Yeah, money. If you you don't have to match my current wage, I will drop a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> just so we can do this all day, it'd be brilliant. If you just cover my bills, and um, you know, sometimes we'll have to buy games because people just don't send them games all the time. That's true. Um, then the, yeah, that'd be great. That's all we ask. We don't want too much, of course. Yeah, We're yeah. not greedy. We just no, you no. Know, want to play video games for a living. Yeah, exactly. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we'll need to factor watching wrestling into that as well, which is, oh, yeah, you know, true. a slight inconvenience, but for the sake of the podcast, we have to do it. So That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, I so, think we've got him. We've got him. Pickle and Zinger. What's this? Yeah, I think we've got him. I think we've got, I think we've got a nail there. I think we've got a sponsorship coming. I think so as well. I think <laughs> uh, in a couple of weeks' time, you'll be... Um, You'll hear the gold in our teeth rattling because we've made so much money from playing video games. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It's coming. I'll, I'm going to be wearing a diamond-plated grill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, I'll be doing this podcast from my hot tub. <laughs> yeah, just hear hot tub yeah. in the background. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you, you just hear bubbles and be like, what, what is Sonny and Finn doing? It's like, we're, just in the, we're just in the hot tub. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds like exactly what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Guaranteed. Yeah. Definite real-life prediction there yep <laughs> yep <laughs> that's got to be the thumbnail this week well, in a hot tub. Tub. yeah yeah <laughs> uh, I don't know how many do that I'll figure it out yeah <laughs> uh, right so <laughs> Hell in a Cell was yeah. uh, this past Sunday it sure was we gave our predictions and we're going to talk about it now so Finn hello let's talk about Hell in a Cell let's um, ow, it went on the table. Cool. Uh, awesome. So we started off, started off at the pre-show with, uh, uh, Shag Gable and Sheldon Benjamin, or as uh, people have been calling them, American Beta. Ah. Who's calling but, them that? Uh, the internet. Oh, the internet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> American <laughs> Beta. Okay. Yeah. Cause, cause, good, because American Alpha and now American Beta. Yeah. To be honest, uh, uh, I feel like Shelton Benjamin is uh, a significant upgrade on Jason Jordan. He is a bit, isn't he? He's, uh, yeah, got a few title wins on his belt. Is you know, decent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's not Kurt Angle's son. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That we know of, uh, at least. I mean, of yeah, course. well, maybe he is, maybe he is, yeah. Yeah, maybe. who knows? Future uh, But yeah, those two versus the hype bros. Um, <laughs> and it was fine. It's a match that happened. I didn't watch it, I have to be honest, I didn't. Uh, yeah, it was half, half the arena was empty again. It's like, apparently they can't figure out how to let people in earlier. Yeah, the thing is, WWE has been doing this like this pay per view thing that they they you know seemingly you know invented recently just for the WWE network. Yeah. yeah they've been doing this for years. <laughs> Arenas exactly, yeah, still work weird. the same now that they did 30 years ago. Yeah. How has it become so difficult? Oh, who knows. What they played up. Uh anyway, it was it was a fine match. Um just a nice double stream like backdrop from Gable and Benjamin. Um like Gable like rolled through and hit Mojo of the Open and the like, and the cameraman as well at the same time. Nice. That's what was funny. <laughs> He's like, I had a camera on him. He's like, what was his bed in it? And he's like, whoa, shit. He jumped out. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Sean Benjamin and Chad Gable ended up winning. Uh, Benjamin that paid her on Zach. And um, yeah, that was it. And we also had a side bet as to who would turn heel between Zach and Mojo. Mm-hmm. The correct answer was nobody. Yeah. No, no deal. Uh, no. I, it's coming. It is <laughs> definitely, definitely coming. coming. It's yeah. 100% coming. But um, because of other stuff that happened in the show, I think they're probably saving heel turns for different occasions. Probably, yes. Remains on the next pay-per-view. Which means Steve was correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve was the right? Yeah. Did he say that? All oh, right. Well, then, Steve, you get a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also both get a point because we both said um, Chad Gale and Benjamin that we win. So, because yeah, yeah. that was obvious, right? Yeah, clearly. Sure. <laughs> uh, so, we had the first real match of the night and probably the best match of the night, in my opinion. Uh, the New Day 
Resident Evil series, the Hell in the Cell. Mm. Um, For the weird, last ever time as well. Yeah, yeah. Weird ever first on, first on, but I can see why they did it. And um, <laughs> Yeah, me too. Uh, because it, two Hell in a Cell matches on the same card, um, if you have them one after the other, that's it, it's burning people out. It is a bit. So, um, if, yeah. To bookend them at either, either end of the show was... Was was the the right thing to do in my opinion? Yeah, makes sense. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it was a really good match. It was really really good. Oh, it was um, superb! Really really good. They just have such fantastic chemistry with one another. Oh yeah, so so good. Um, yeah, what does it say instead about it? Uh, but so immediately he, uh, his heavy woods and Biggie went out and grabbed some weapons. Um, both all like each other's weapons just nonstop. Just mm-hmm. a nice looking uh, big ear. Biggie spear through the ropes, through the cage. Well, mm-hmm. not through the cage, but onto the cage. Look crazy awesome. Um, he said he attacked with his trombone. Rest in peace, Francesca, 2000 turbo. <laughs> um, then there's another trombone pulled out, then a, like a golden cowbell, and a cymbal. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Um, then with like a double team finisher, but then the one that Uso's threw a chair at Xavier Woods as he was on the top top rope. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, a bit. Um, uh, yeah, ouch. <laughs> Or was it during this you could like see on the cage there are like holes in the cage where someone's going to climb a bit so you're like okay someone's going to climb the cage at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, to be honest I think they do that now. Yeah yeah. It, it's, I can see what they do it to make it safer and yeah it's fine. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, also like a trapped uh, one of the Usos uh, in the corner of the cage with like kendo sticks that just like a northern spot. Mm-hmm. Likes it a lot. Very yep. cool. Yeah that was cool actually. It was actually very smart as well. Mm, very smart. Yeah. Uh, what last mile is then uh, Xavier Woods took one of the pieces of the trombone and threw it out of the Uso, one of the Usos, whoever it was, Jimmy or Jay, mm-hmm. and like knocked one of those Kendo sticks loose. Oops. And then Captain Max yep. quickly panned away from it. It's like, oops, no, that didn't happen. Whoops. <laughs> didn't see that. Ten, ten, yeah. Ten. Yeah, forget that mistake. <laughs> it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, then Xavier Woods like on the top rope, going to jump on one of the Usos as he was on the steel steps. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it was a brutal. Um Yes. Luckily, the other Usos broke free and saved his brother. Well then, I like that we can't tell them apart. Uh, yeah, I have no idea who's <laughs> so difficult. The twins, how can we tell? <clears throat> yeah, true. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been over a long, long time. Really, really good match. Um, eventually, ended with uh, it's Eddie Woods who was in the handcuffs. He like broke up one of the, uh, the pin on Biggie, who just ate like a double frog splash. Mm-hmm. Um, so then they did the same thing to Xavier Woods. They put a chair on him, it's like a chair. Handcuffs, double splash. Nice. Very cool. Rip. Uh, rip. <laughs> L- lots of force finishes, um, which I love a lot. Very cool. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really good match. Go see it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great way to start the pay-per-view as well. And oh, yeah. probably the right way to start the pay-per-view as well, like I said before, with uh, with it being Hell in a Cell. Uh, bookend the two, and that worked perfectly. Uh, it was a great match. I'm glad the rivalry is over. Yes, me too. Because it'd be nice to see uh, the Usos, who, by the way, at the minute, are just flying high. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the, I think they're enjoying their best spell. Oh, yeah, definitely. I in like WWE, they're... full stop. Yeah, he will going to work really well for him. Oh, um, massively. I mean, the, you know, when they first turned heel, I thought this is very sort of uh, vanilla. Like, you mm. know, with the rap music and the just bandanas and the baseball caps and all that yeah. sort of stuff. It's like, okay, a bit generic. But you know what? They've took it. They've rolled with it. Their promos are brilliant now. Um, and to be honest, they've just got better. They've embraced being heels and they're, they're enjoying the best spell of their careers at the minute. And uh, I'm really happy for them because they seem like really cool dudes outside of wrestling as well. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just great, great, great tag, tag team, great tag match. Um, and easy, pay, easy payday for Kofi, who's on the outside. <laughs> yes. This day is, one is H. Day one is indeed H. Um, <laughs> so uh, you actually went with... Uh, uh, Usos to win and I went with New Day so you get a point it's two ding you. ding uh, so then we had to bring the tone down a little bit uh, Rusev versus Randy Orton mm. and it was just fine no one cares right <laughs> no one cared <laughs> uh, just a standard Randy Orton match Rusev was on top of the match until Randy Orton oh I'll get out of nowhere oh a lot of Randy wins mm. oh, Rusev. I have to be honest I can see Rusev not being employed by WWE very soon Yes. Um, Something yeah, isn't bit... right there because you, in front of you, you've got like the perfect heel superstar. Yeah. In Rusev. He was great. Like early in his career with John Cena, like at WrestleMania entering the tank. It was so good. 
Mm. I just don't know what's gone wrong. Um, it just seems very strange to me. And honestly, yeah, I can I can see him uh, requesting release or maybe just sort of being released. Because what's, why does why is Randy Orton winning? What is he uh, doing? Make no sense. That's any good? Uh, nothing. Even the ASA, I've had on like a Ed and Christian's podcast that he wants to turn heel. He's like, he's even he's sick of it. <laughs> yeah, so, because yeah, he's just weird. doing nothing of worth. I mean, fighting Rusev in a mid-card match that means absolutely nothing at all. Yeah. Um, to me, I don't know, it just screams pointless. It does. Very strange. Uh, but yeah, it was it was an, it was a match that happened. It was fine. Mm. Uh, so I said Randy would win because Randy always wins. So I yep. got a point there. Ding, ding. Ding. I foolishly said Rusev each. because, you know, went with uh, heart <laughs> over head. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So then we had uh, the US title match. Uh, during the brief show, Ty Dillinger was added to the match, which made mm. it Ty Dillinger versus Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles. Yep. And it was a really good match. Um, it was a good I match, yeah. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Uh, AJ, it started with uh, AJ and Ty gang up on Baron Corbin, like, throws him out the ring. Mm-hmm. And they had, like, a little, uh, little fight between them, which is cool. Yep. Uh, nice back and forth. To be honest, it actually uh, made, going back to sort of Ty being added to the match, it actually made sense. It did. When they, when they, tra- when they actually justified it, they were like, well, this is why he's been added to the match. And it's like, well, yeah, yeah okay, fair enough. Ty being Corbin on SmackDown, so yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so nice little spot in the middle. Uh, it's like Ty was, char- Ty was charging at AJ. AJ gets his knee up. Uh, but then Ty turns around, two biggest bound Corbin, who was in the corner. Mm-hmm. And then boots AJ in the face, but then AJ turns around, pele kick, and then Ty falls onto Corbin as he was on the floor, and that's like a close two count. That was very cool. Yeah, like very cool. Uh, AJ did a nice four fifty splash onto Corbin. Um, just looks amazing. Yeah, AJ Styles is just a ridiculous athlete it's and just def- good. defies age. Yeah, seriously. Because I mean, Random he's age. he's near forty. Yeah, yeah, it's moving around like a like a, a young twenty year old. And he's just in, in incredible shape. It's like, yeah, dude's been wrestling for so long now and doing the same move set, and you know, even adding to his move set, and mm. it just doesn't seem to be slowing down. It just seems to be getting better and better. It's uh, it's crazy, really. It's insane, and um, he's great. Probably the best wrestler in the world right now. Oh, one hundred percent. I I can't think of anybody better. Yeah. And people can't. Oh, I mean, people will come at you with the, the, okay. Marks will come at you with. <laughs> Okada and Omega, Omega and people yeah. like that, but I'm I'm having none of that. AJ Styles for me is the best wrestler in the world. Uh, yes, agreed. Um, so yeah, the match ended with uh, AJ in the phenomenal forearm onto Ty, uh, and then Corbin just comes out of nowhere, boots AJ out of the ring, and then AJ lands right in his head. Ow! Um, and then Corbin pin, pins Ty um, as he's knocked out with the forearm and becomes new champ. Corbin wins finally. <laughs> yeah, right. um, I'm fine with it. I mean, I am fine with it. I sort of wanted to see AJ carry that belt a little bit more because he sort of seemed proud to be champion and uh, was going to do the open challenge and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, if, that would have been nice. However, this leads to AJ Styles taking on Jinder Mahal and winning that championship at some point down the line, mm. then uh, I'm I'm sort of fine with this. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I think this is going to lead him to going back to the main event, um, which I am 100% down for. And also, what this does is propels Ty Dillinger to that mid-card level where he can hang with the likes of Baron Corbin yeah. and compete for the US title. So uh, they've done a they've done a very good job there, I think, sneakily yeah. with uh, <laughs> getting Ty in there. Yeah, they have. Yeah, good stuff. Good booking, Gore James. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! You finally understand how this works. <laughs> yes. Well, well done. Uh, so I just said Corbin would win this. So I get a point there. So it is uh, 3-2 to me. Oh, you clawed it back. I'm in the lead. Yay. Woohoo. <laughs> so we had uh, Charlotte versus Natalia for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And it was fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think they're living off that one excellent match they had in NXT that time. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's that one really good match. But ever since then, it's just been not much, really, is it? Oh, that classic Hart versus Flair rivalry. Yeah. What? But, mm. It's not that good, though, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't at all. No. Um, I mean, it was fine. Um, ended with a DQ <laughs> because um, this one is a count of food, I guess. Sure. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I'm dumbfounded by the booking of the end because yeah. Natalia could have just fucking done that at the beginning of the match. Yeah, it's just 
Uh, I don't know. It's weird. DQs are shit in title matches. I think they should just scrap them completely because if you're the champion, mm. just get disqualified every match. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't there a time, or am I imagining it, that where uh, all title matches were just no DQ? I don't know. Maybe, I, but I don't. I can't remember sort of vividly. Yeah. It rings a bell for sure, but I, I can't quite remember. But if that was a thing, they should bring it back because DQ in title matches is bullshit and lazy. Yeah, it is a bit. Mm-hmm. So it means, you know, Charlotte loses, but in a shit way, so she doesn't really lose. Oh no, Charlotte wins, but Italia keeps the title and it's like, it's yeah. just cheap. It is a bit. So the feud continues. Yay. <sighs> I guess. Sure, yeah. <laughs> And the crowd was dead for this match as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one cares. Like, literally, I just don't think Natalia is really resonating with the fans as the champion. No. She's, uh, I'm, I've never been a huge fan of Natalia. I mean, she can wrestle sometimes, <laughs> but uh, just no, no personality. It's a shame. Yeah, I mean, she she tries. She does. Hey, you guys. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it doesn't work as a face because nobody cares. It doesn't work yeah. as a heel because... Nobody cares. Yeah, it's, it's, nobody cares. It's just, you know, there, there's more entertaining. I mean, you know what? Natalia, this has been long overdue for her to be the champion. Yeah. But all right, you've had your fun now. Give it to <laughs> the, the women who are going to be able to carry this division forward. Because yeah. I don't feel like Natalia is taking this division forward at all. Uh, no, I agree. And nobody will look back at this run uh, with her as women's champion with any sort of fond memories at all. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> that is what it is. Um, it's fine. We both had, I uh, think, Natalia to win. Uh, but technically, Charlotte won, so neither was getting a point. So three two still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we had the Phasm Files. It's back. Yay! Yay! And it was hilarious, as it always is. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Um, great laughs from the crowd and stuff. Um, yeah. when they showed Cesaro the Tooth Fairy three, and <laughs> yeah. this guy's allergic to sleeves, and so is this guy, and it was great. Yeah, really, really good. Very, very good. Um, that's so Raven with picture of Raven. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so the Jensen came and like delivered a, a in disguise and delivered a tube, like two B yeah. tube. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's a picture of the Ascension saying they want two B friends. Ah. Uh, it's funny because they were like sort of. <laughs> if it ends up to be the Ascension again, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Which it definitely it. is going to. Oh, of course. Yeah, there's, there's just no end to this. Um, I don't see how the Ascension recover from this, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's going to be hard. Um, I like how when, when they're like uh, uh, talking about the Ascension, they're oh, we don't want to be their friends, they smell. And yeah. like, oh, come on, guys, they're right here. And the crowd was like, oh, poor Ascension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just working when it has no right to, 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 to work as well as it, and be as funny as it is. Yeah, seriously. But it's amazing. I love it. I yeah. hope it carries on. Me too, yeah. Forever. Forever. <laughs> it's easily Tyler Breeze's best run. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And Fandango's. Well, I don't know about Fandango. I mean, he had that, you know, that five minutes of fame when his uh, entrance theme was oh, that's true. riding high in the UK charts. <laughs> Bizarrely, yeah. And Fandangoing was a, a thing. Uh, I still don't know why that came about. Any idea? Because it just sort of, it was like a random weekday that it sort of happened. Yeah, I think it's just because it was in the UK. And UK fans are generally more rowdy than US fans. They care yeah. more. And it's kind of happened randomly and stuck, I suppose. I woke up and I, I saw this and I was like, I have to get on board with this. So I just <laughs> yeah. went straight on iTunes and bought Fandango's entrance theme. It's like... <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, my so one good. download has contributed to Fandango being in the charts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so then we had um, Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal for the WWE title. Hmm. Slab bang in the middle of the card. Weird match. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was a weird match. These two don't have chemistry at all. No. I don't think Jin has chemistry with anyone, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe not. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I like the idea of Jinder as champion because it pisses everybody off. But he's having an almost identical run to JBL when he was the champion. He had the cabinet helping him every, every week. Yeah. Like Jinder with In... the Smith brothers. And it's just... I don't yeah. know. It's, it's the, the joke's sort of over now, isn't it? Is a bit. It's not helping. Um, it's like in the, it's like mid card. It's like, but it's WWE Championship. It shouldn't be mid card. This should be top of top of the card main event. It's, yeah. just, it's working. I mean, we talked about this on the stream on Sunday that you know, uh, you know, we're purists. We want to see the the World Heavyweight Championship fought in the main event. Exactly. 
That's how but, it should be. But no, it's the, you know, what's the biggest storyline is now the main event. But to me, yeah, uh, again, as a purist, the, the champion, the world championship should be the last match on the card. Agreed. Uh, during the match, the Smith brothers kept interfering as they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm getting ejected. Uh, meanwhile, Nakamura had saying Kinshasa, uh, but the Smith brothers delayed the ref getting back into the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, so then Jinnah hits his world's strongest Colossus slam, whatever it's called. Uh, Colossus, is it? Is that what it's the, called? The Colossus, that's the one. Okay. Uh, but it's apparently it's the strongest finish in the world because everyone, no one's ever kicked out of it. Yeah, so. yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was kind of it. Yeah. It's literally a full Nelson slam, but like done <laughs> in the Cobra Clutch um, yeah, pretty like, much. stance. Ugh. It's garbage, isn't it? I mean, Billy Gunn, that used to be Billy Gunn's finishing move, but Billy Gunn actually yeah. did it way better. <laughs> yeah, he, he, but Billy Gunn wasn't the world champion. That's true. The one Billy Gunn, you remember that? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, WWE have an upcoming tour of India again. Yeah. Do you know, um, them? I just, again, I like the idea of Jinder being the champion because I really wanted it to work. I wanted the, I wanted it to prove people wrong. Me too, but uh, it's not working though, is it? <laughs> the matches aren't great. The promos yeah. aren't great. Um, and any potential that I think Jinder had or any momentum or potential that Jinder had has just sort of faded now and people just want him to lose the title. But WWE clearly want this to carry on. I rightly so. Um, I think Jinder will carry it through to the Royal Rumble now. Um, he'll, yeah, he'll, see the, he'll see the year out as champion anyway. Probably. Uh, it's, it's fine, I guess. It's fine. They have, time, they have time to make it better. They won't, but they might. <laughs> it's, it's I, think, I just think the time has passed. People just aren't interested now. He's just going to keep mm. getting these scabby wins and... Scabby, I like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that, that's what it is though, isn't it? It's it scabby bit, wins. Yeah. And, you know, he'll he'll lose it eventually. Uh, yeah, he will. Pull it to uh, AJ and Nakamura. What they'll probably do is just have him beat CM Punk's record just to really fucking piss everyone <laughs> off. Oh, God. That'd be awful. Imagine. Oh, God. No. Imagine. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to. Jinder wins. Uh, Jinder wins, yes. So both had Jinder to win because, yeah, the next one won it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 4-3 to me. Uh, so we had uh, Bobby Woo versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, yeah, who made no entrance at all. Well, he made an entrance, but no music, uh, no Titans run. They played for a little while, but then they sort yeah, of did this it. taking a vinyl off a and a, a, a needle type Sound noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> it's basically Vladimir Kozlov's entrance, basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like when you create a wrestler on uh, the WWE games, but forget to do his entrance. He just walks <laughs> yeah, down yeah. to nothing. Uh, but yeah, it was it was fine. I don't know. However, it's, it's, it did suit what. Ziggler was sort of, have sort of been talking about recently, so yeah, it goes to the story. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, match wise, it was kind of slow and boring. But I was like, both guys can do better. I'm not sure why this match wasn't good, but it wasn't. In my opinion, <sighs> I know. I, I agree. I don't think it was good either. Um, and the crowd was dead for it. Uh, you know, yeah. they obviously popped massively for Bobby Roode's entrance and stuff. But oh, of course, uh, the match itself was just. I mean, it was less than okay. To be honest, it was boring. <laughs> It was boring. Constant sleeper holds, which fans do not enjoy. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was just okay. If, if that, it was, it was just a match that happened. Yeah, it's a bit bad. Uh, ended with uh, Bobby Roode going for the glorious DDT. He's got counted into a roll up. He's got counted into a roll up. He's got counted into a roll up. Mm. Into with, but with grabbing tights, and then Roode counted that into grabbing with the tights, and then Roode won with that, and then that was it. And then Ziggler yeah. attacks, then hit, hit the uh, zigzag after the match. And it almost yeah, felt like it wasn't meant to happen. Um, I think it was meant to happen. Oh, yeah, I know. I think it's good I, just yeah. building on the, on the feud. But yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's... Yeah, but bounce. Yeah, it garbage. was crap. Yeah, it was... It was, <laughs> it was, it was yeah, I mean, the finish was awful. Yeah, both um, guys can do better. And hopefully they will in the future. I mean, what do, you, what do we think of Ziggler now? What's that situation? I don't know. Maybe he's hanging on until, like, Survivor Series, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? So you think they'll have this match again? Oh yeah, I think so. I think it's future going to continue for a little while. Okay. Hopefully better. Yeah. Add some blade into it, make it better. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that was that. It was supposed to Bobby Roode to win. So both get a point there. Ding, ding. 
Ding ding. It's four, uh, five four to me. Yay. Yay. And then we have the main events, which of course Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon. Yes. Bloody hell. Shane McMahon is a crazy person. Oh God. <laughs> you just you do not need to do it. No. Stop. You don't. But, <laughs> stop, Shane, please. Um, Get out yourself. <laughs> his punches are terrible. Yeah, they are. Uh, his kicks were okay, but his punches are fucking awful. He did a cool, like, flippy kick. I like that. He did, actually. I was, I was a little bit shocked by that. I thought it was yeah. quite cool. It's like some Eddie Gordo type shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was fine. It was, it was, a, it was an okay match. It, was it good, told actually, a yeah, story. Nice. And, you know, it, it was two guys that have a disdain for one another and they were just beating the shit out of each other, which is what I wanted to see, in all honesty. Yes, me too. Uh, to one point, I can't... Uh, Kevin Owens was like showing strange face against the cage, uh, right in front of like these kids. He's like, "Look what I'm doing to your dad," or whatever. And then the camera camera cut to the kids, and they were just smiling. Yeah, <laughs> like, God damn it, <laughs> stupid kids. <laughs> yes, stupid kids play along with the storyline. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. And then Kevin was like, "I should be your role model." Yeah. He also did like, the dance in front of him as well, didn't he? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Owens is great. Yeah, Owens is so good. Uh, yeah, also, uh, Shane broke out of shooting his dark breasts, which I thought was really impressive. Yep. Um, yeah. Sh- really Shane cool. is a crazy athlete for somebody who isn't a professional wrestler. <laughs> yeah, he's just like breaking crazy moves out of nowhere. Like Mid 40s as well. Mid to late 40s, and the dude's yeah. just like flying around crazy. So good. Uh, no concern of... for his body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. A lot of respect for Shane. Yeah. Um, speaking of crazy stuff, we've got power bombed onto the steel steps. Yep. Ouch. Ouch um, indeed. Very ouch. Uh, Kevin O's got ouch. a table. <laughs> much ouch. Very ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at one point, Kevin O's got a table, lets it up against a cage, uh, and went for the, like, um, the, the, what do you call it? The, uh, shit, got my head. The Wait, cannibal, what? that's what it's called. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> the cannibal off the apron to uh, Shane and missed and went through oh, yeah, himself. Flew, crazy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> crazy stupid. Uh, but awesome at the same time. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know these these guys just destroying their bodies for our entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, um, cheers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> uh, you broke out from coast to coast as well as he always does. Yep. All the spots. Just, all the spots. Just so many spots. Yeah. Just going through one, going through one of those now. I was like, oh my god, so many. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, you know, I can't. I, I, you know, that the coast to coast is very impressive. Oh yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it'll be stolen straight out of RVD's uh, playbook, but, <laughs> you know, much. RVD used to springboard instead of just oh, yeah, did it? stand yeah, on yeah. the ropes, yeah. yeah. The Van Terminator. Oh, yes. The Van Sarah Connor. Yes. <laughs> I stole it from uh, OSW. John Connor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else happened? Uh, so he escaped the cage eventually, because of course he did. Uh, yes. Shane got a pair of ball goes from under the ring. Just convenient. Yep, yeah, convenient. Yeah, convenient. I mean, you know. Uh, Kerry hit some more with his uh, shit punches. But then uh, Kevin, Owens, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Owens kicked him in the balls and uh, hit DDC on the ramp. Ouch. Well, that's fair. I was just kick him in the balls. Exactly, yeah. Just kick him in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> to start with that, just keep kicking him in the balls. He'll give up eventually. Yeah, that's it. I just keep repeatedly kicking him in the balls. No DQ. <laughs> exactly, yeah. In fact, there was one point in the match, I think. No, wait. Where uh, I'm... Yeah, because um, one of them got their foot on the ropes and the ref broke it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was dumb. I meant to talk uh, about that. Yeah, and the um, commentary tried to justify it by be like, oh, maybe the ref was just confused by excitement or something. It's like, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, well, don't, don't make the fucking rules up as you go along. <laughs> yeah, well, that's after the Coast to Ghost, wasn't it? Yeah, you had the yeah. Coast to Ghost and the ref stopped the count. It's like, wait, what? Yeah. Fall to go anyway. That's not... Yeah, you, you, yeah. you can put your fucking... You can, you can be hanging off the cage. <laughs> exactly. Like, have a leg dangling over the cage. Is that rope break as well, is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, dumb. Yep. Uh, but it's fine, it's whatever. Yeah, sure. Don't take that as a matter. No, no, not at all, no. <laughs> Absolutely not at all, but it's just, it's just one of them dumb things that can yeah, never I... be justified, and it's just weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, at one point, Kate, uh, Kevin Owens, uh, like, grabbed uh, Kevin Owens, um, Jesus Christ, <laughs> grabbed Shane and, like, <laughs> slammed his board into, like, the open door. Ouch. Oh, first. yeah. Sorry guys, we're, we're, with the uh, with the stumbling and stuttering here, it's because we're just so excited. So it's like uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we're so excited like, about all oh, this crazy action going on. Yeah, just like the ref, he's he, you know he he, didn't, he wasn't to know. Yeah, he's had it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like that because there was like some no more kids chance after that. It's sort of yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no more kids. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so after that, um, 
They took apart an announce table, a suspiciously different looking and safer looking announce table than usual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have no idea why. Yeah, strange, isn't Very it? Very strange, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you put, put chain on the announce table, climbed up to the top, wanted to jump off, but like got cold feet. It's like, oh, I can't do it. I wish uh, he had. That would have been amazing. <laughs> be crazy. Just, just doing a bloody scent on from the cage. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, so uh, Shane climbed up after him, as he does. And there's of course. some crazy suplexes and power bombs on top of the cage. Every time he did it, I was like, oh, God, please don't break. I know. Uh, the thing is, they, they, were, they were constantly doing it on one part of the cell. Oh, yeah. And I thought, are they doing that because they're due to go through it and they're trying to weaken it? Or are they doing it because it's super reinforced, that part of the cell? But either yeah. way, you know, you, you can't count for you know, potential fuck uppery. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that cage could have just broken and someone's dead. Rip. Yeah. And the cage is bending as well by the end of it. It's like, oh God, yeah. please be careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, Kevin is about to throw shit at the, sh- uh, shit at the cell, but Shane managed to stop himself short. Thank Christ. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, cell is definitely higher than when Mankind went flying off. Oh yeah. Too. Much, much higher. Um, uh, Kevin they started climbing out the cage. The crowd was like, boo, no. I was like, no, stop them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want them to be alive at the, at the end of this. Yeah, they don't need to kill themselves. Just, like, just, <laughs> like, we love the high spots. Yeah, come yeah, on now, but... safety first. <laughs> exactly. We're the most boring wrestling fans of all time. <laughs> yes. Let them yeah. be safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, don't, we don't have blood. Just let them be safe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, get, uh, Shane chased after him. Uh, like, punched him on the side of the cage and then threw him off all the way down. Yeah, which is fine. That's fine. That's like I mean, sure, Michaels was doing that back at Bad Blood '97. Yeah, that's fine. That's a safe spot, ish. It's not yeah. safe. It's not safe. It's safe, ish. Yeah, okay. So, <coughs> so taking a drink. You get dry throat <laughs> there or something? A little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> Excuse me. <Right>. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's my uh, red thunder repeating on me. Oh, uh, okay. I, I had a, an Aldi iced coffee, which was great. Oh, yeah. Other nice. German supermarkets, of course, are available. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I it, was, it was particularly nice. It's ran yeah, out yeah. there, so I'm a little bit upset. <laughs> um, yeah, what else happened? Um, uh, yeah, so then they took about a second uh, table. <laughs> Shane did. Um, put Kevin Owens on top of that. We climbed the cage, because it's a crazy person. Yeah. Uh, went to do an elbow drop, but missed. He will, he will hit one one day. Um, Maybe, yeah. Um, to be honest, he shouldn't do it again. No, he's probably, probably just to stop now, yeah. He's, he's yeah. missed two, just to stop. You'd think yeah. it. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's third time lucky and, you know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was Kevin Owens pulled off the table by uh, by Mrs. Man in a hoodie. Turned mm. out to be Sami Zayn. <gasps> oh, my God. Long time called... rival Sami Zayn. Yeah, called it. Called uh, it. <laughs> and yeah, so that's awesome. Sami Zayn heals in. Yeah. Very cool. Put putting Sami in the main event. Good. No, I'm down for that. Excellent. Yeah, me too, because now Sammy's going to actually be doing something of worth on yes. SmackDown every week, which is great. And very good. It, it's, it feels like a long time coming. Absolutely. Now, uh, very happy. Let, let's just talk about Shane McMahon for a second here. Okay. He doesn't need to do that spot, but he, he does it anyway. <laughs> and he just loves falling off high things. Maybe it's just some sort of weird adrenaline junkie or something. I don't know. Maybe. Now, I'm sure people have moaned out there that this is a very similar sort of spot to the one he did at WrestleMania. Uh, against Undertaker. Yeah. But you can sort of see from a storyline standpoint why he did it. Um, yeah. He, he's trying to make up for this matter. Uh, as I mean, now, against Undertaker. And he's, he's, he's like, he's like, yeah. So he's like, right, I, I want to finish Kevin Owens off permanently. This is what I've got to do to finish Kevin Owens off. Kill him from a, a, <laughs> a, a, a long way up. Yeah. Literal murder. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> regardless of whether it was the same spot or not, it's still fucking insane and it is. it's super cool at the same time. Uh, so kudos and much respect to Shane McMahon who, for a 40-something-year-old gentleman, does not need to do this. Um, he's got some serious balls. Yes, very good. Um, so yeah, at the end of the match, uh, Sammy puts aside all the EMTs, like really fat EMT he was just there for some reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Kevin Owens over Shane and like demands that we have to count. Count him, count him. It's very cool. And then uh, yes. Kevin Owens won. Yay. It was cool to see him being a heel. It's very cool, yeah. Yeah. Need, need to enter his team now. Enter his team is too happy. He's new one. <gasps> oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What they should do is to have the same entrance team, but instead of let's go, just have fuck off. <laughs> yeah. 
Fuck off. Amazing. It would absolutely be amazing. So good. Yeah. We should, we, should, we should make these engine teams. From, we should do, from, yeah. yeah. What yeah, we should do is we should create our own um, <laughs> wrestling show and yeah. just make it adult themed and just have that. <laughs> Employ like Sami Zayn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, really good match. Um, both said Kevin and Wins, so both get a point there. So it ends with 6 5 to me. Yay. Yay, no point, congratulations. Let's bring it to grand total to Sunday with 11 and me with 10. <sighs> One point Ooh. away. Oh, it's, it's, it's getting there. You're catching up. I am. I mean, there's still 830 pay-per-views before the end of the year, so uh, you know the, the score's going to be ridiculous. It'll be like a cricket score by the end of uh, <laughs> by the end of uh, by the end of time. Yeah, seriously. Um, but yes, very cool. Um, so kind of a kind of a shit sandwich of pay-per-view. Two good matches at the beginning and start. Everything in between, kind of meh. It's definitely a US style match, which is cool. To be beginning and the end. Yeah, yeah. That not was it. No, you said beginning and the start. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, beginning <laughs> at the end. Uh, everything between is kind of meh. It's somebody who was starting a match, which is cool. Um, so, yeah, what, what would you grade it out of uh, on the on normal grading system? Uh, I'm going to give it a C. Okay. Uh, two really good matches. Um, yeah. Actually, three good matches. Actually, I'm going to go B minus. Yeah, I'm going to go B minus. I'm going to take B minus. So, yeah, two, two really good matches, three really good matches, and everything else in between is kind of meh. Yeah. But good matches make up for it. Absolutely, B-. yeah. B minus. That's, that sounds fair. Yeah. Um, speaking of um, bets, by the way, I've had a thought as to what our end of year uh, thing could be. Oh, okay. Uh, end of year punishments for losing. Um, yeah, it's the last week we could talk about about Bubsy. Oh, uh, no. Bubsy has a very famous, awful game called PS1 called Bubsy 3D. Mm. Uh, perhaps the loser of bets should uh, stream a full playthrough of one day of gaming of Bubsy 3D on PS1. Oh, Jesus. That means, that means getting a PS1 and finding Bubsy 3D. That's true. Or what other ways to do it if you can't find it? But, um, uh, oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to do it. Um, <laughs> maybe the loser could play through the inevitably shite new one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. So if it, it looks I mean, it looks shite, but it didn't look as bad as Bubsy 3D. It just looks like a uh, Bubsy game. Oh, yeah, it'd be shite. It'd be awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be truly terrible. But okay, yeah, okay, I can, I can get down with that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, also, maybe because it's a wrestling thing as well, maybe you can also find like the worst pay-per-view ever of like WWE TNA or whatever and have to sit through that and have to review it with the podcast as well. Ooh, okay, that's, a good, that's an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. It's like added, added punishment on top of the year. What do you think? Yeah, that could, be, that could be quite interesting. Yeah. Maybe that's something we should start doing anyway, like reviewing old pay-per-views like once a month maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like I'm doing a do an additional podcast where we we review an old pay per view, but put it out there for people to, uh, you know, give us ideas as to which one to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, we have a whole WWE network full of WCW, ECW, and WWE <laughs> pay per views. Very true. <laughs> so uh, maybe we should do that. Maybe start start in November. Do one do an addition one additional podcast a month reviewing an old pay per view, like we do with the uh, current WWE pay per views. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hmm. I'm out for that. Yeah, me too. That'd be, that'd, be, that'd be quite interesting, actually. I'd be well and truly down for it. Yeah, let us know your thoughts on Twitter and the comments and whatnot. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, a little tell. It was fine. <laughs> yes. So, we move on to Raw. Now, Raw is the next pay-per-view. So, obviously, mm-hmm. the Raw build-up now is going to start getting interesting again yeah, as so uh, we approach TLC. Now, Raw this Ooh, week that's... focused on something very specific. And it was basically talked about all the way through the show. And of course, that is The Shield reuniting. Of course. It was teased last week. It was confirmed this week. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you ready Uh, for it? Are you you happy about it? Um, I am. I'm not sad it's happening. I do think this maybe should have waited just a little bit longer. But I'm I'm, I'm down. It's cool. It's cool to see him back together. It's cool to see him triple power one people through tables again. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's it is cool, and to be honest, I think it's what, it's certainly what Roman Reigns needs right now. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's because all of a sudden Roman Reigns is like super popular again. <laughs> yeah, like, they're getting cheered. It's weird, no, weird, weird, weird to hear uh, Roman's interesting theme with cheers uh, alongside it. Will change? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very strange. Like 
Roman's doing taunts and everyone in the crowd's going absolutely fucking ballistic, whereas before they were going ballistic, you know, in another sense. Yeah, uh, boo. In, in anger, but uh, <laughs> now uh, the Shield are back and uh, th- to be honest, it's had the effect that I'm assuming WWE wanted and that was yes. to get Roman cheered as they push him towards the WWE Championship, well, the Universal Championship at WrestleMania. Yeah, which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. I mean, uh, we don't need to go through Roy in complete detail. We can just uh, breeze through it. And the Shield are going to be beating The Miz, <laughs> Cesaro and Sheamus. And now Braun Strowman. Yes. At Braun TLC in just a couple of a couple of weeks. Because Interesting. Because The Shield attacked Braun Strowman as a revenge act for Braun beating them up um, yes. over the last few weeks. Which is cool. I mean, and it Very makes cool. sense from a story perspective. But now... It's just cool to see the shield back. I, I wasn't that bothered. I mean, we, we spoke about it, didn't we? About it maybe being too soon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I like it. It's cool. I'm, I'm marking out, I have to Makes be honest, sense. mate. I'm, I'm really marking out for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't I wait I at TLC to hear the, uh, the the actual entrance theme with the Sierra Hotel uh, India Echo Lima yeah. Delta bit at the beginning. That would have been a bag, yeah. That'd be cool. They're saving that for that. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Yeah, probably. And they'll come through the crowd as well. And I bet you they're wearing their gear. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be Very awesome. Cool. Um, yeah. So what else happened on Raw? Let's. Uh, oh, there was a there's a weird segment where it was like, oh, oh no, I I, I I want to fight Oscar at WrestleMania uh, at TLC. I want to fight yeah. Oscar at TLC. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So you had these five women wanting to fight Oscar. Why do you want to fight Oscar? <laughs> yeah, do you not? What's NXT? Come on now. Yeah, it's like why you're going to lose. <laughs> it's like, why do you want to fight her? The 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 idea of that is obscene. Yeah, we ended up winning that. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Emma won it. So oh, basically, it was, a, it was a five-way elimination match, and it was it was so it was Sasha Banks, Bailey, Alicia Fox, who they've seemingly dug up out of nowhere and thrown back into <laughs> in-ring action. Yeah. Uh, same with Dana Brooke. Yeah, Dana Brooke. This is still awful. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, uh, and <laughs> still Emma. like an awful power slam and a botched flipping. It looked awful. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, so so bad. Shite. Um, <laughs> so they had a weird match, wanting to all wanting to compete to fight to get beaten up by Oscar at TLC. Emma won. Mm-hmm. Because let's be fair, they're not going to job Sasha Banks or Bailey out to Oscar. True. So they may as well do it to someone else. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I'm glad that Emma's getting a try at the baby view. That's good. It's cool because uh, Emma will sort of build herself up now over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. They couldn't have done that with Foxy or Dana Brooke because no one would have given a shit. <laughs> exactly. At one point, I was doing a match. Um, at least Fox hit a uh, like, uh, leg finisher, like an uh, axe kick. Yeah. Booker T was like, that was a finisher. I was like, yes, run and book. Yeah, it was yours. It was yours as well. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Booker. Uh, Booker T is terrible at commentary. I'm sorry, it's but he's just—it's awful. It's so bad. Every week, I'm like, just, just why? Why are you sitting there? Yeah. I I was under the impression it's that Booker T was only standing in for David Atunga, who don't get me wrong, is equally as shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But at least fairly bearable. Booker T just—I don't know. I don't, I don't know why he's so shit at commentary. He, he just talks nonsense. I don't know what the hell was going with. Him. <laughs> uh, Where's David Otunga? Yeah, so he's still doing like free shows and junk like that. <sighs> Fuck off, Booker T. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> never, never thought we'd be asking for uh, David Otunga to come back, but here we are. I know, I know. <laughs> Especially when, By- you know, they get rid of Byron Saxon to SmackDown, who's doing a great job. Yeah, he is, yeah. He's like just Byron part Saxon. of... He's, yeah, I like Byron Saxon. He's good at it. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, so Emma won. She's going to get beaten up by Oscar at, uh, at TLC, so that's cool. Yeah, uh, we had a truly, uh, and I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, a truly fucking awful Bray Wyatt segment. Oh no, yeah, I feel so bad for Bray because <laughs> it's not his fault. <laughs> it's been forced into this, but oh my god, just Abigail, what the hell? Right now, we talked about this last week, didn't we? We were like, Bray is dressing up as the woman from the ring is not <laughs> Sister Abigail. No, it's with a bag w- on his head with some creepy makeup, and it's like no, it's like weird voice changer thing. Oh, I, I, yeah. that was the point. I, I started fast forwarding it. I was like, no, nope, <laughs> this is way too much for me. Like, I love wrestling, and I, I, you know, I will defend it to the hilt. Yeah, me but too. But this is too much for me. Like, this is crazy. When, when the voice changed, I was like, nah, <laughs> not no, no, no. Just so skipped it because I thought this is fucking awful. <sighs> yeah, agreed. Bray Wyatt has been subjected to dressing up seemingly as a female to take on what I can only assume will be the demon Finn Balor at TLC. And it will look ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to 
what they're going to do, but it's not gonna, it's not going to work. Demon Finn Balor is Ball still Bray. Finn Balor with paint. <laughs> he is, yeah. Sister so Abigail will be Bray Wyatt in a dress. <laughs> they're not going to be in a dress, surely. I hope they do. Poor Bray. But isn't it ridiculous in in 2017 we're having this type of supernatural feud? Yep. Like like, (laughs) like us. For the kids, I'm sure this is great. But, you know, it's a predominantly adult male audience, WWE is, I think. That's the demographic that they're aiming for, that that predominantly watches the, the, the product. Yeah. Nobody, you know, you know, of our age is buying this crap. (laughs) <laughs> it's just ridiculous it is I agree I, I, I'm not even down with the idea of Sister Abigail being a woman anymore yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't want it I don't you know it was fine when it was like a, a a mystical thing that Bray Wyatt you know like when they had that thing in the Hell in a Cell that time that um, was doing the projector in the ring or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah when Bray Wyatt came back that time they were like, oh he's you know that that's just about on the edge of what I can deal with <laughs> it's just on the edge yeah just barely but when Bray Wyatt has got makeup on and his voice is changing into a, a, a woman's voice, yeah, no, mate, uh, <laughs> that that is where I completely draw the line. Um, am I intrigued as to what is going to happen at TLC here? Yes, of course, but um, the build-up uh, is poor, and in my opinion, after TLC, that has to be the end of it. Oh uh, yeah, agreed. It's been going on too long already. It needs to stop now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually, I mean, I you know. Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. Oh, that's a great feud. Let's get a few matches out of that. Yeah. But the way they've gone about it, um, they it. They're trying to bring the supernatural stuff in and make out like the demon is something completely different to Finn Balor. And now they've got to a point where Bray Wyatt has to be Sister Abigail. It's like, no. Uh, Sorry, guys. You, you fucked it. Yeah, you earned it. Good job. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what happened? We had uh, Braun Strowman, Shkoshik, Matt Hardy. Well, it wasn't quite a squash. It was had a decent bang and forth. Yep. Um, it was pretty cool, actually. I liked it. Poor Matt. Um, I, I, poor Matt he's, yeah. he, without <laughs> Jeff, for the minute, he, I, he doesn't really have a sense of direction. And it's uh, a shame because, I mean, he had a great match, I thought, with Braun Strowman. They've started yeah, to have yeah, cool. actual matches with him now. Yeah. As opposed to him just annihilating people. Yeah, it's cool. That's, that's when he uh, started carrying off from Matt Hardy after the match. And that's when it, the shield interrupted and uh, mm. beat him up. And uh, it's cool. I'm kind of, kind of hoping they you go a bit more, get further with it, and like break "quote unquote" Matt to go to like broken character. Yeah, but uh, it might happen. Because I mean, Jeff's only just had his surgery, so I'm assuming he's out for at least a couple more months. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's up to like six months. He's going to miss WrestleMania. It's oh no, that sucks. Yeah, poor Jeff. Yeah, get we'll better soon. It. Yes, get well soon. Uh, we also had Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher, who now is a heel, apparently, uh, versus Cedric, Dan- Cedric, Cedric, Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. Wearing street clothes as well. Yeah, interesting. I kind of like it. It looks different. Do you like it? Yeah. It's got I, like, I, a tape wrist and... Hmm, I think so. Yeah, I, think I, I don't like know. It. I'm struggling to get on board with it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He's a good wrestler. I like him. Oh, he's a great wrestler. A wrestler. Yeah, really, really. <laughs> uh, But yeah, it was a really short match. Should have been longer, but it was, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Uh, the, Kendrick wins. Cool. Yeah, and then of course we have the other big cruiserweight segment of the evening. Yeah, it's the main events yet, yet again. Yeah, I mean they're really trying to push two hundred five live. I mean that that is it's definitely what they're trying to do is have it the focal point at the end of Raw, and uh, you know really trying to build the brands, and it makes perfect sense because. Oh, yeah. I think we talked about this before. If it doesn't, if this sort of doesn't elevate 205 Live, then 205 Live is in massive trouble. Yeah, seriously. It's circling a drain at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I heard something fairly horrifying today, though. Was and you've probably Neville? seen the same. It was about Neville, yeah. Mm, no, they talk about. Um, so, basically, what the, what was going to happen here, it was going to be Enzo Amore versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship at the end of Raw with the Cruiserweight division surrounding the ring as Lumberjacks. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the original plan was maybe to for it to be Neville versus Enzo. Yes, that's what I heard as well. And for Enzo to go over again and beat Neville. Oh uh, yes. You may but, have uh, noticed that Neville was not on Raw, nor was he at ringside. No, he wasn't on Raw live either. Ah, uh, and it looks as though 
uh, Neville walked out of Raw and has also asked to be released from WWE. Yes, it's just a shame. Oh, it's if a true. real shame because all because, and I understand why they want to, wanted to put Enzo on two hundred five live to help ratings and stuff like that. But don't do it at the in a way where you're going to piss off one of your best talents. Yeah. Because Neville, just, car- Neville mean, has no. carried that show. Yeah, Neville's been great. I love his heel turn. So, so good. Great character. One of the best characters on, on TV. All year he's but, carried uh, that division. Yeah, seriously. He's but, been uh, brilliant. So good. Now he's uh, putting a lot of Aries, seemingly. Ah, uh, so. yeah. I mean, you know that something is horribly wrong with uh, the Cruiserweight division. When two really top stars just want nothing to do with it anymore. Yeah, yeah seriously. They all come to because of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I was heartbroken when Austin Aries left because I, I, I love Austin Aries. Yeah, same. And I thought he was having a, a, you know, he fit perfectly on WWE. Yeah. Then he's gone. Yep. And Neville uh, turns heel, has a fantastic run with the Cruiserweight Championship, uh, does great in ring work and great mic work, loses the championship due, you know, to somebody who apparently nobody holds in high regard. Yes. And, and now uh, he wants to leave. Yeah, not good. Uh, saying that, I'm... Yeah, sorry, go on, carry on. Sorry, saying that, I'm sure he'll be fine outside WWE. If he goes to New Japan, and that's all they'll take him. They'll have all that stuff. I think he's been there before. Um, I mean, he was Park on the Indies, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. But, I mean, WWE shouldn't let talent like that just walk out. No, no. Just do, do, do whatever you can to keep him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, top ne- to Neville is a top, top talent. Oh, yeah. He'd fit, he'd fit perfectly fine on the main, main roster. Yeah, and I don't know. I, this sucks. I mean, it, it really sucks if uh, if it's, uh, if it's he does end up leaving and they grant his release. Uh, it, it, it's garbage. He, I mean, by the time you hear this, it may very well have happened. Yeah, yeah. In which case, Hopefully. you can consider us very upset. Yes. Hopefully it won't happen. Hopefully he'll come back and have a lot more of the matches. But, uh, mm. oh, I wonder if this is the reason they've taken the belt off Enzo so soon. Because obviously Kalisto is due to have this uh, championship match at TLC. Uh, yeah. They didn't have that match just like as a rematch. Um, so yeah, who knows. Also, Kalisto is back in his old engine steam and old mask. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> And they, they still can't say Callisto. They still can't get it right. It's either Callisto or Callisto. Make your mind up. Oh, yeah. Make your mind up, yeah. This is just... I don't know. I mean, the Cruiserweight division has been elevated, but if you're losing stars, that's not that's not going to work. It's not. Uh, sort it out, please. Also, I think Callisto winning the championship is too soon. Uh, yeah, I agree. They I'm should gonna... have, not at Neville's expense, but they should have kept Enzo as the champion a little bit longer, at least until mm. TLC. Yeah, agreed. Uh, they kind of blend that a little bit, haven't they? Mm, a little bit. It's in a weird place now. Two hundred five was in a great place, and now all of a sudden it's gone into a very strange place very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back to where it was almost. Mm. So, so yeah, Kalisto won the cruiserweight championship anyway, and he's yes. the cruiserweight champion now. Obviously, mm, it's is fine, I guess. And I'm sure they'll have a rematch: <laughs> Enzo versus Kalisto at, um, at TLC. TLC. Yeah, yeah. Right. for sure. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Heartbreaking if never loses. If never leaves, yes, that would suck. Yep. Um, but yeah, so that's war. What do you rate war this week? Um, I mean, I I really marked out for the shield. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to give that a B minus as well. Cool. Yeah, B, yeah, yeah. It's not a B minus. Yeah, rule rule wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible at all. No, it was fine. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for TLC. Me too. Me too. Uh, mainly yeah. because I'm excited for the main event because I think it'd be awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. So it brings us uh, to SmackDown. Yes, SmackDown. But um, it was okay this week. Ah, uh, it was fine. I'll, <laughs> I'll let you. Yeah, lead, yeah. I'll let you talk <laughs> us through SmackDown. Uh, of course. So start off with users coming out, uh, calling out the new day, uh, showing respects, uh, with an oost truce. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> offered a handshake, oost. but an interrupted oost family use. Oos. Interrupted by uh, um, uh, the Hype Bros. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the Hype Bros. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Major was saying stuff. Uh, every week it's the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. And they were like, go sit on the bench like you did for your entire NFL career. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> and then they were interrupted by uh, uh, Chad Gable and Shelty Benj, who nice. uh, also said stuff. But nope, back of the line. <laughs> the fashion police came out, who uh, got a huge pop, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely awesome. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> when this team first started, like nobody cared at all. <laughs> yeah, seriously, <laughs> nobody. But now they're now they're awesome. Yeah, they are. Uh, as they're about to say stuff, they're interrupted by the ascension. Very funny. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so the bad fight was about to break out, but then they're interrupted by a very angry Daniel Bryan, hmm. uh, who demand like the Usos' new day get out of the ring because he's pissed off because of Ellen the Cell shenanigans. And there's like, Arr. like no chance, and like crowds starting to turn against Daniel Bryan. It's like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, what is, what is this? <laughs> Revolt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Daniel Bryan uh, announced a uh, tag team fell four year match for non one contendership. Well, DLC is happening right now. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Good. It's good to see new tag... Well, I say new tag teams. It's good to see the other tag teams now getting a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we had uh, Brizango versus The Ascension versus The Hype Bros versus uh, Gable and Benjamin. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was cool. Uh, so every time Brizango went to do something, this massive cheer from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I- I'd love it if they put the belts on them. Yeah, me too. That'd be so, that'd be so good. It would just be so good. And the crowd would clearly love it as well. Oh, yeah. Whether it's ironic, cheers or not, I think, uh, you know, they're, they're super over at the minute. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, sadly, they didn't win. Um, uh, Breeze ate a, like, double team powerbomb thingy from uh, Game of the Benjamin. Uh, so Game of the Benjamin will be facing Usos at TLC. It's be I, good. I called it. Yeah, you did. Absolutely That's, um, called it. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Um, but it makes Gable perfect sense as well. It does, yeah. I think they're, they're the next one down, really, aren't they? Uh, Talent-wise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, it'd be a waste of Shelton Benjamin if they didn't go for the championships. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so I think that makes perfect sense. And I mean, I said it on last week's podcast that they were to advance them as a tag team and a storyline. That's what needs to happen. And they're going for mm-hmm. it. So something I predicted would happen is actually happening for a change. So good times. Hey. Hey. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, we also had uh, Becky versus Carmella. Mm-hmm. Come on, it's got a new ring gear back. Good. Oh, uh, one with the uh, like the singlet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The camel mm-hmm. toe singlet. Yeah, <laughs> the camel. Toe. <laughs> uh, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, camel toe in the bank. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Specky ended up winning with a disarmor. Uh, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when. I, I have no idea when Carmella's gonna. Uh, cash in the money in the bank but you just get the feeling as she loses every match that she has once she is women's champion and the first title defence she's probably just going to lose it yeah just like Jasper Banks oh uh, oh uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah it was it was whatever sure just a match uh, yeah uh, <laughs> then we had something uh, very in- intriguing we had uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn uh, explaining themselves mm. um, so Owens was saying how he had a uh, out of body experience he was going up to heaven saw his life flash before his eyes but then the saviour, Sami Zayn, came out and um, <laughs> pulled it back to earth. And now the best friends again. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Sam- and you had Sami sort of, sort of trying to justify himself that Kevin Owens has always been his, his brother, despite the fact mm. that he thought he detested him, but he's always been his brother. We saw Shane clambering up the cage, about to plough down on his brother. And uh, he decided he wanted to pull his brother off instead. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but it was cool. I liked it a lot. Um, obviously, Sammy says he thought doing the right thing would eventually get him the title shot, like a title shot or a title opportunity. But obviously, that wasn't working. Um, so now he sees things Kevin's way, and Kevin was right all along. And uh, yeah, cool. I liked it. Yeah, that, I, to I, be I, honest, I like it with Sammy. that makes perfect sense also because it does. You know, yeah, Sammy was a good guy. Whatever he was doing, he just wasn't getting noticed every week. And uh, he turns heel. All of a sudden, he's propelled into the main event. So, uh, or at least into the biggest storyline on SmackDown. Yeah, and it's so, super cool. I love it. Yeah, excellent. So happy that Sammy's uh, going to finally get a, a decent, uh, decent bit of uh, TV time. Me too. I love like Sammy. meaningful I TV time. I mean, he's always on TV, but he's never doing anything. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of in the, in the backstage bit or just having a pointless match against someone. Yeah. But now he's going to be finally doing something good. So, and I'm really happy for that. Me too. Good, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, was that a, a random match with uh, Ruth Seven, Agent English versus Nakamura and Randy Orton? Mm-hmm. It was pretty pointless. Good guys won. Yeah. yeah. No gender this week. 
yeah, no gender to be seen, which is weird. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know. I don't think <laughs> WWE know either. <laughs> yeah, certainly don't. Um, oh, we also had um, Rowan Harper on the back of the tag team. Mm. That like a backstage thing to the camera. The Harper, b- Rowan, Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brothers. The, yeah, blasting off at the speed of light, swimming out with a better bite. Me after the right. Wait, that's Team Rocket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, it's very um, early 90s WWE. Yeah, they're carrying mallets and like <laughs> yeah. weapons and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's they literally kill people with their hammers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the gimmick. I don't um, get it. Right, um, they split them up. They put them back together. They split them up. They fight each other. They go back together. They uh, you make your minds up. Yeah. This if this is going to be well. if you're going to be a tag team and you're going to give them a name, then that needs to be it. Just stick with it because you've yeah. got. Um, the super super talented Luke Harper there. So talented. I'm not so hot on Harp on Rowan, but they work well together. Yeah, they both. And let's be honest, well. if they're going to enter the tag team division, that could be absolute domination. But they need oh, yeah. to stick with it. Don't have them Which fighting one? each other. Don't have them splitting up. Just have them as a tag team, a dominating tag team. Yes. Um, and I, I can get behind it massively. Yeah, me too. I'm down for that. Harp is amazing. Um, Rowan's, Rowan's fine. He's gets a lot of flag, but he's he's alright. He's okay. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing where this goes. Um, please don't ruin it, WWE. Thanks. Yeah, at least <laughs> let Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable win the championships and have a few decent title defenses before you inevitably give it to the Bludgeon Brothers. Interesting name, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Yeah. Also, BB two B. Hmm. Oh. Yes. You've just ruined the fashion files for everybody. I have, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that does make sense, actually, though, now. I didn't even it think does. of that. Yeah. I thought about it, like, five minutes before we started the uh, podcast, I looked at my nose, just like, <gasps> Dungeon Brothers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you on the next episode of the Fashion Files? <gasps> Maybe. You should be. I should be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, then we had the main event, which is, of course, uh, Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles for the US title rematch. Mm-hmm. And, and it's really good. I like it. Yeah, great. And uh, call me one clean, which I like. Yes, uh, because now this frees AJ Styles up. If he's not going to be in the US title picture anymore, which I'm assuming he is not, mm-hmm. uh, now AJ can go and do some World Heavyweight Championship stuff. Yeah, go be gentle, please. Thanks. And, Baron, <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the mid-card can now go back to being the mid-card. Yeah, which is good. So, got food with Thailand and, and all that stuff. That yeah, go and go do that, Baron. That's fine. Uh, and yeah. now AJ can go and be the World Heavyweight Champion and lead it to what it is we actually want to see and of course that is AJ Styles versus Nakamura it all roads mm-hmm. lead to AJ Styles versus Nakamura <laughs> yes please give it to yes me. please um, do you think AJ Styles will win the championship and Nakamura wins the Royal Rumble or are we thinking the other way around hmm good question like, um, like, like we said last week the Raw main event sells itself as a story they don't need Roman to win the, the Royal Rumble that's true yeah they definitely didn't um, I think it would help Shinsuke more if he wins the Rumble. Um, yes, I agree. Because AJ Styles has already won the championship once. Um, it's believable he's going to be a champion, and he's already a like top guy if one left him already. Yep. Whereas Shinsuke has kind of been floundering around, having huge agenda, losing his agenda, which is not great. Um, so he needs that win, I think, more than uh, AJ. I completely agree. Uh, yeah. So I think it benefits Shinsuke more going into the Raw Rumble and winning it. <laughs> he may not even win it. He may, he, he, you know, it may be, they may not maybe, even maybe. go for Nakamura versus AJ. But you have to assume they will, right? They've got it, surely. It they, they have to, yeah. It, it yeah. completely does. I mean, Roman and Brock and then Nakamura versus AJ. I mean, that's two great WrestleMania main events. Yep, I'd, I'd buy it. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm invested already. I'm fine with it. Yeah, same. So uh, let's... The shield versus, who knows? Sanity, well, maybe. Oh, no, they won't go for that. I mean, Roman's definitely winning the championship at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, of course. No oh, two yeah, ways about it. <laughs> you and, don't even think that Roman's also in the Shield. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, yeah. Nakamura will have to, will, will win the championship at WrestleMania as well, I think. Oh, yeah. But I, I think so. They, they are the matches That'd that people want to see. So they're the matches that should absolutely be delivered. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Also, throw, throw in before WrestleMania like a Sammy versus Nakamura again because I want to see that again. Oh yeah, for sure, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I think what you'll probably get because obviously what we're going to be building to next is Survivor Series for SmackDown. I think. Oh yeah, I think so. 
Maybe next one. Because I think after TLC, which is at the end of this, which is what? Oh, wait, is it this next weekend? It's in two weeks. Are they, are they, this weekend is next weekend after. It's the weekend after, yeah. So is there yeah, another yeah. SmackDown pay per view before Survivor Series or no? I I don't think so. No, I think okay. it will be Survivor Series. After Good, because then you could have a massive build to Survivor Series. You could maybe have Raw guys versus SmackDown, but then you could also have like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus I don't know mm. Shane, yeah, like, Team Shane, or something. I don't, I don't fuck, yeah, who, yeah, who knows? Team Owens versus Team Shane. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah, me too. And then you know, then you can start building to your December pay per view and. Something and someone that Jinder's going to beat, hopefully Randy Orton again or someone I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't care. Yeah, Randy Orton again, please no. <laughs> yeah, no. Not that. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you, you know Nakamura winning the Raw Rumble, AJ winning the championship, whatever. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, all roads lead to AJ versus Nakamura. I don't care about anything else. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was SmackDown. How would you rate SmackDown this week? Um. Probably again, just but B minus. Solid B minus week. Yeah, B minus week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool with that was cool. Um, Sammy vs. Point- Owen segment was cool. Yep, that was very cool. Just a couple of pointless matches in there in between. Also, Bobby Roode and Ziggler did a thing. Yeah. Oh, was that, on, was that on there as well? Uh, yeah. Roode, Roode got like an awkward promo. I think he forgot his lines halfway through. Oh. All, yeah, not great. <laughs> not great. Rude. Um, but they're going to have a rematch at some point. Okay. I, mean, I didn't think that's over next week actually so yeah oh Jesus right yeah. okay fair enough so uh, a B plus week this week yeah yeah it's fine it's fine <laughs> <laughs> right boys and girls this has been episode 73 of the Games and Grabs podcast we Yay. are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash sunny fin play and yep. youtube.com forward slash daydreamer gaming Whoop. go check us out on all social medias you'll be able to find us using the uh, tag daydreamer gaming yep yep and you can find our own twitter account as well at game and graphs that's the one but for now thank you very much for listening we'll be back yes. next week I'm Sunny I'm Finn take care guys see you next week goodbye thanks so much goodbye divas <laughs>